Well, movies might be a good place to get out of the heat. Yeah, that's definitely a good th idea because, you know, with temperatures really hot, you don't want to stay at home if you don't have air conditioning. And so we're heading to the mall, the theaters, anywhere where we can find some cooler temperatures. And this is one of the spots that's going to be heating up. We take a live look outside in the Tri-Valley with a hazy start this morning. And we're also saying limit your time outside because of the air quality. We've had drifts of smoke coming in. We can see it as we look at those live views around the Bay area. As you head out in Mountain View, our temperatures start out in the upper 50s. It will be clear, sunny throughout the day and still staying mild here throughout late morning into the afternoon. As the seven day forecast comes up at the bottom of the screen, check out your microclimate because it will be very different based on where you are. So the inland valleys will be included in the heat advisory. All of these areas shaded in orange. That's not the entire Bay Area. Spots like Oakland and Fremont will not be included. And then we're also not not seeing a heat advisory for the peninsula of San Francisco and for much of the North Bay up until you get over to the east of Santa Rosa and in the hills. So we are going to be watching out for an increased fire danger as all the vegetation continues to dry out and our temperatures heat up. For the South Bay, we'll reach 94 in East San Jose and 92 in Los Gatos. We'll also see upper 90s and highs over 100 degrees for the interior East Bay, while Oakland will see a high of 79 degrees, so still staying mild there and cool near the coast with Daly City, Half Moon Bay in the low 60s, Redwood City reaching 85 degrees and some upper 60s for the outer sunset today, Mission District reaching 74 degrees and North Bay temperatures mostly in the mid 90s from Santa Rosa to Sonoma over toward Napa, but we'll be as hot as 104 degrees today in Clear Lake. And then we compare that to what we're seeing all across the South and Southwest. It's been really Really extreme for a long period of time and Phoenix today hitting 119 degrees. They've had record breaking a stretch of some intensely hot temperatures and it looks like it continues for the foreseeable future. And then we do have cool areas where we can go and cool off. Well, we're going to see temperatures along the coastline only in the 70s. Santa Cruz today, the warmest day today at 77 degrees. And then we compare that to the 100 degrees we'll see for the inland valleys. It will be nice to have some milder weather. We'll go back to some more seasonable temperatures for the middle of next week. San Francisco will be in the low 70s throughout the weekend.